I work with Brian Curzon and Brian Pellick, and I'm here to talk to you about future adaptability, natural regeneration, and red pine dominated stands from spearmint harvest. So, with changing climate, we expect to see losses of ecosystem services and function. In a way to research and mitigate these losses, the adaptive silviculture the climate change study relies on three tenets. First, resistance, improving forest defenses and increasing kind of its resistance to change. Next, resilience, accommodate, but allow change to occur, but encourage systems to return to a desired state and transition, which facilitating change, allowing systems to become more adaptive to future conditions. Established in 2015 on the Cup of Experimental Forest, the Adaptive Silviculture Climate Change Study relies on overstory treatments as well as planting of future adapted species. But today we're going to talk about natural region. So, what we hypothesize is that when these silvicultural treatments are implemented, we will see the transition for the future adaptability of natural regeneration within the transition treatment greater with the increased protective suitability conditions. Sorry. And so to test this, we use data collected in the 2019 field season to create relative importances of each of the species present within the treatment stands. And then using data that was previously published in the Climate Change Tree Atlas, we created adaptability scores for each of the treatment stands. And what we see is that natural regeneration of the transition treatments is showing the greatest relative adaptability with the resistance treatments having the lowest relative adaptability. And what we mean by relative adaptability is that species that establish themselves today are going to need to be changing with the change in climate to be able to survive 50 years from now. And when we take a look at the importance of each of the species that are present within these treatments, we see that while some fur, a species considered not to be very important or not to be very adaptable, is going to have various importance in our resistance control treatments, while on the flip side, in our transition treatments, we see species that were actually planted for their predicted suitability in future climate. And so what this is kind of telling us is that many of the species that are considered to be future adaptable are already present on these sites, allowing us to make greater use of natural regeneration in our management goals and strategies. And that's all I got. Any questions? Well, it's tough to have that last spot before lunch. <laughs> no questions for Lewis? All right, Lewis, thank you.